He's the Australian world champion you've probably never heard of, but in the United States, he's a big name star. Jason Belmonte from Orange in the state central west is the world's number one 10 pin bowler, and he's preparing to defend his title. When you cross the threshold of the Orange 10 pin bowl, it's hard to avoid the name Belmonte. On honour board, on lane record, crikey, there's a shrine in the foyer. No wonder. Jason Belmonte has just been crowned the planet's best 10 pin bowl. What about that, eh? Number one in the world. You know, there's just no way I would have ever have guessed it as a, uh, as a young fella bowling behind me. Just an absolute dream come true. Mum and Dad Marissa and Aldo, who own the Orange Bowl, got a wee hint early on when Jason won his first doubles comp at age four. And his partner was slightly older. He would have been in his late 40s, I suppose. So, late 40s and a four-year-old. Or maybe early, younger, but and Jason anyway. had to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as he does now as world champ on the lucrative American circuit, Jason bowls with a two-handed no, rugby case. pass style. The reason why I do that is because I started so young here, about 18 months old, the bowling balls were way too heavy for me. So I could only really push it down between my legs. And as I was getting a little bit older, still couldn't use one hand, so I used two hands. The actual rule book um, states that it is a legal way to deliver the ball. As long as you stay behind the black foul line and you uh, have the same equipment as everybody else, then it's fair, fair game for everyone. It may be fair for everyone, but the world champ doesn't make it easy for anyone. Might be the only time you're getting the head in the game, get the first ball out there. Exactly, that, I think he's right. Just a little bit of curve, mate. It was 45 degrees. <laughs> as it looks as adults. No, mate. I think the scorecard indicates that. <laughs> After warming up at my expense, the world champ will commence his title defence this weekend in New Jersey. Mike Dalton, Nine News.